tonight. While three companies are no longer sponsors with the Fresno Grizzlies, other Valley businesses are standing by the team. Others are looking at beginning a new relationship with the minor league team. Sponsors started to drop the Grizzlies after they played a video on Memorial Day, a tribute that portrayed New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez as an adversary of the U.S. Alongside North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un and the late Fidel Castro of Cuba. The Grizzlies have apologized for that incident. CBS 47's Pedro Quintana joins us live with our team coverage. He has more from Chichancy Park. Pedro. Well, Ken and Catherine, last night we heard from Sudden Maine President and CEO Harry Overly in an exclusive interview. I think he gave us the reason why his company ended the relationship with the Fresno Grizzlies. Well, today we're learning other local raising companies here in the Central Valley are considering forming a partnership with the Grizzly team. Now, this comes as local ag businesses are standing by the baseball team. After several companies like the Gate, Dos Equis, and Sun Made Raisins announced they're cutting ties with the Fresno Grizzlies, some local businesses are considering taking their place with a minor league baseball team. Raisin Valley Farms in Fresno County told me over the phone they're considering a partnership with a minor league baseball team. A rep from the Raisin Bargaining Association says they want California raisins to be well represented in the valley. RBA Chairman Duane Cardoza said in a statement, RBA will continue to support the local community. Cardoza goes on to say, quote, at this time, our 2019 advertising budget has been exhausted. Our board will look into future advertising opportunities for the 2020 fiscal year. Donaghy Sales does have a contract with the Fresno Grizzlies. It's unclear what will happen with the Gothic Cantina or other advertisement around the ballpark. We reached out to the company, but our calls were not returned. We also spoke to local microbreweries who told me they would love to have an opportunity to sell their products at Chickchancy Park. World Light Media consultant Jenny Sola says the baseball team should start looking ahead and promoting their family events for the rest of the season. Obviously, it was a, a poor mistake that they made and an error in judgment. I'm hoping that the community can look past the mistake they made and forgive them because we really need the Grizzlies here in town and we need to support them. And speaking of family events, tonight is the kickoff of Space Weekend. Tonight is Star Wars Night, where many fans can dress up in their favorite Star Wars gear. The baseball team will, the game will start tonight at 7 o'clock. For now, we're live here at Chachansi Park. Pedro Quintana, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.